Hit up on the back, yo. Leave her in a passion. Alright, what's going on guys? It is Joey or Limit here, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to get your first uh, design clients, and more so, how I made $200 in my first week of looking for clients using this method. Now, I know a lot of other YouTubers have talked and made videos about this, but I've never seen anybody use this way, and maybe I'm just missing it, but I've watched, I think, three videos, Sesso's um i think visual had one and maybe garrett um but i really it, if one they weren't up to date and two i don't remember seeing this method i could be completely delusional and missed it but i don't think i did but jumping right into it it's honestly twitter is where you want to look twitter is going to be com it's so huge and it's so easy to find exactly what you're looking for on there that being clients i'm basically going to break this video down into a couple of different parts and the first part is going to be how you look as a designer when someone clicks on your page you want to look completely professional now you can take the route where you have you know the hot bathing suit models and stuff as your header and profile picture and that's all cool and stuff but to a client that's not if you're pinning a client up Again, someone who has a really clean logo with a clean header and showcases, you know, their pin tweet is very clean. If you guys are interested in another video, I can uh, do a th Twitter header or a Twitter revamp um, like that you guys can download and customize yourself that just gives you a very really clean look as well as a pricing list. So if you guys are interested in that, um, just leave a comment down below. Or if you don't want to completely go off mine, feel free to go to my Twitter, look at my logo, uh, my header, my pricing list, everything like that. There's other Twitter um, designers in the community that you can also look at if you want to base it off that. But no, guys, so basically looking at what other designers have as their header and their logo, use that to help you guys. Um, because that really is huge. Clients are going to look at your personal profile. That's the first thing they're going to see. And first impressions are everything. And so you're going to want to have something that looks nice. So jumping right into the next part of this video is knowing where to look. Now, if you go on Twitter in the top right, I'll throw a picture up on the screen or video. Not really sure. But it's going to be a search bar. In that search bar, you're going to want to look up things like need a thumbnail, need a Twitter header, need a YouTube banner, stuff like that. And it is going to pull up a, every tweet that has those words embedded in them. So it's going to come up with top at first, like the top that's going to be the most liked. That's not where you want to look because those are usually older. They're going to have more likes and retweets on them. It's going to be harder, especially if you're just looking to get your first clients. It's going to be very hard to uh compete with other people i mean feel free to there's no harm in doing so but definitely go to under the latest latest is going to be where you want to go because it's going to show the most recent ones so you can jump the gun before all the other designers start flooding them with messages and dms that being said once you find someone that is looking for what you can provide them I this is this could just be a personal thing, but I don't like commenting and being like DM me. I think it looks unprofessional. I will sometimes you're gonna have to just because they're gonna have their DMs closed, stuff like that. So you're gonna have to sometimes. But I just I would rather me just DM them being like, Hey, are you still looking for someone to make you a YouTube banner, make you a Twitter header, anything like that? It just looks more clean so that when people go to your tweets and replies on Twitter, it's not just completely flooded with 100 dm me replies to different people it just kind of floods people's uh feed up and it's gonna it's gonna turn people away from your work all right so jumping right into the third part of this video it's going to be how to talk to your clients now this is very important uh if not one of the most important next to how you brand yourself you want to this could just be me again i i do things i don't know if i do things differently i don't really know what other designers do but i like to come off professional but not 
robotic in a way. Uh, I'm gonna throw up a picture if I can on the screen. I like to keep it casual just so I can relate to the, uh, I can seem relatable to the client and I don't feel robotic because there are a lot of scamming like profiles out there that sound very robotic in the response and I just want to stay clear from all that so they can completely just night and day tell okay this designer is giving me a very relatable response and I like that it's casual it's I can approach him easily whereas this guy is very robotic and professional sounding and usually when they're just looking for a twitter header a quick youtube banner a quick thumbnail anything like that they're not going to want to go to someone that's very professional because it's hard to approach them so keeping it very casual while also keeping it professional um can be huge and it can be a deal breaker in the end so as you see on the screen I said, yo, you still need a thumbnail. Very quick to the point, but I'm also throwing yo in there. I'm not saying, hello, period. Are you still looking for someone to design a thumbnail for your YouTube da- uh, YouTube channel, period? That's not bad. I just feel like mine's more approachable because it's casual. It feels like they're talking to someone they know, not someone they want to do business with. And yes, it is a business, but it's just I've personally seen it work better when i just kind of keep it casual personal in a sense so i said yo you still need a thumbnail he said yes sir how much if they don't ask how much if they just say yes that i would go to pricing almost immediately because that's going to you don't want to waste your time you don't want to waste their time if they're looking for free work that's completely fine just be like Look, man, uh, unfortunately, I only do paid work. I don't want to, you know, if you're if you are doing free work, feel free to just tell them, yeah, I'm doing free work. That's perfectly fine. Jump the gun right into the design ideas and then get it out to them. But if you are watching this video and you are probably going to be charging, don't don't feel bad just because they don't want to pay stand your ground don't be like okay i'll do it just this time i'll do it for free because you're just gonna that's gonna get repetitive and then you're gonna end up with no clients so stand your ground it's really not a bad thing to be turning away clients at first just because i know it sounds bad but there's more clients there's so many clients that need stuff done and it's gonna be fine so turning away a client here client there just because they're looking for free work is completely fine and it's completely normal so he says uh i like did well this is a example from when i first started uh i said a dollar for three or sorry one thumbnail for three dollars or a 10 for 10 adding that 10 for 10 deal in is wrapping them in it's a very good deal if you're doing thumbnails i don't know for me personally thumbnails really do not take that long um of a time for me because i've been doing them for so long and i also i made a cheat sheet kind of thing i made a psd where it just has it's basically a gfx pack um with all my stuff that i use for thumbnails i have one for 2k i have one for uh like fortnite anything like that so i just kind of keep those just so it's easier um and it's not repetitive in a sense. It just has my own style in it. It's not really a template, but it's just a pack where I can quickly, everything's there. I can grab, throw it right on the uh, canvas. So this, having the deal is making them want to come back more. If they're signing up for 10 and it's $10, you're making more money and they're also getting a deal where they have to keep coming back to you. And if they like the thumbnails, you produce good work. Um, they're going to keep coming back and doing that deal. And you can up that deal however much or lower it however much you want. And I would price, I think my price point was really good. It seemed to work really well. I can, let me throw up a picture. I'm going to throw up a picture of what my price list was when I first started. These prices seem to work really, really well. And obviously some people didn't want all of the social media packs. So I would reduce it here, reduce it there. But I feel like having these prices was a very good start or starting point because it wasn't too pricey, but it also, I felt like I was still getting 
some money. I wasn't just completely just basically doing this work for free. And then, so jumping into the final part of this video, it is the product. This is the single most important part of the process of talking and working with a client. If you're pro if you were giving them products that aren't good, if you're sending them work that you're not really trying on, you're not going to get good response and they're not going to want to come back to you and that's not good. You want to take your time. Yes, you are doing it for decently cheap in the beginning, but it's going to get better. You are going to get paid more. You just ha you have to spend your time on these and make sure that the client is happy with it because if they are, they're going to come back to you. They're not going to want to look for another designer, go through this whole process of finding someone they like and they like the work that they make. So this is really where you want to capitalize. If they see good work from you, they're going to keep coming back, and that's a reoccurring client that's just going to keep giving you money. That being said, if they are coming back and they are one of your first clients, when you up your price, maybe up their price a little bit, but I highly suggest, like for what I did is, um, or that I did show on the screen, uh, is someone, one of my first clients that I had, I did not change... The uh, price point for him, it's been the same. One thumbnail for three dollars, ten for ten dollars. That is the same. It just, it's just a, like a thank you note kind of thing. Like you were there when I that was just my first client, and you were very happy with the work. So I'm going to thank you by not raising the prices when everyone else has to pay more. It just, again, it's making it personal. It's feeling, it's making the client comfortable in a sense. So that's, again, that is very, very important, is making sure the client is comfortable and happy with the work. But other than that, guys, it's basically it. Just rinse and repeat this process for about a week. Uh, if you guys do have any more questions, please feel free to comment them in the description below. My Twitter is also in the description. If you want to DM me on there, I'd be more than happy to have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys uh, if you want to send me a price list or anything like that, I can look over it, talk with you guys about it, and I'd be more than happy to help you guys. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please feel free to leave a like and comment on the video. Uh, it would mean a lot. We're very close to 1,000 subscribers. I know I haven't been active on this that much. I've been trying to post a speed art at least once a week, so I'm hoping you guys are liking those. And I'm going to try to do more tutorials and stuff like that. Um, so let me know in the description below if you guys want any tutorials, any templates, anything like that. But that's basically it for this video. I hope I helped you guys in some way, shape, or form gain your first client and let me know how it went. Uh, but other than that, I've been Limiter Joey. Peace.